Welcome to this beta that I'm creating. It is a web app called Coordinates. And as you can tell, it has something to do with the coordinate plane and maybe chords or music, maybe chords, I don't know. So what it is is, how can you make equations audible? We know how to make them visual because you can plot them on an XY plane like we have here. And we know that you can change your Y intercept, you can change your slope. Those are cool things to learn about when you're in a math class or an algebra class. But what would it sound like if you played it on the piano where the low notes were at your minimum of your scale and the high notes were at the maximum of your scale? Let's play it and find out. Hopefully it'll work. Ooh, my computer right now struggles a bit to load up all the sounds here. Let's try that again. Can you hear that? Steadily rising tones steadily walking across the white keys of this piano. That is y equals 1x. And what does it sound like when we have y equals uh, 3x, for example? Well, first, we got to wait till we get to the start. Clearly, our tones were increasing at a faster pace. We were skipping white keys as we were rising, you know? That is slope when we make that audible. Uh, we don't have to listen to our equations at a staccato pace. Right now we have regular timing, a regular rhythm, or regular beats in the x-axis, regular beats uh, in time. We could also just listen to the notes as they come up. So I changed the rhythm so that whenever my equation crosses a piano key, it should play. Now let's hear what that sounds like. There we go, it increased. And if we lower that, uh, that slope again, we can hear what it would sound like again. Plotting nice and slowly. Okay, let's stop that. I don't need to hear that whole thing. So the cool thing is that you can close your eyes and listen to it and recognize that's a linear equation with a low slope or a high slope or maybe a negative slope, you know? And not only that, you can listen to what a quadratic equation sounds like. Let's get that in range here and let's hear what that would sound like. Uh, let's play it with an even beat in time. And if I told you that the vertex occurred down here in this parabola, could you identify what that vertex sounded like? First we accelerate downward and, all right, we're hanging out. We're hanging out in this low tone area. When we changed direction, that was our vertex. Let's listen to what a cubic equation sounds like. And we'll do that with regular intervals again. That's our cubic equation. Maybe we can listen to that where you just play the notes as they come up. And you noticed that at those vertices, the vertex here and here in the beginning and at the end, it was a little slower. It's a little slower. You might even talk about calculus when you listen to something like this. or you might talk about discrete math since we are discretizing our continuous curves here. You might also talk about different musical scales. We've been listening to the C major scale, which is all the white keys of the piano, but let's listen to all the black and white keys together um, for our, our uh, equation. We also changed the scale whenever you change it to the chromatic scale because uh, that basically changes the amount of keys you're gonna listen to. Let's hear what that sounds like. All right, my computer struggled to load up all those notes. Listening to all the black and white keys is tough. Let's try that again. Boom. So I probably should not be running a whole bunch of other programs while I'm running this toy. Uh, that's what's slowing down my, my system here a bit but you can still hear what happened. Not only that, you could probably see the effect of these different coefficients on your graph, play them again. 
Okay, let's try that one more time. And let's change that to a positive coefficient. What would that sound like? Flight of the bumblebee here, aren't we? So I hope that in the future, as I develop this app, I'm going to add in more types of mathematical equations to listen to, including trigonometric functions, exponential functions, uh, different conic sections and whatnot, hyperbolas, you know, all of that so that we can recognize the audio signature of these different equations, not just the visual signature on the XY graph. I also want to make it where we can change the tone of the sounds that we're listening to. Right now it's very staccato, right? Like, boom, like you're tapping that piano key. Well, how about we get a little more legato, or like you're pressing on the lever of that piano? What about listening to a harp or a guitar, you know? That would be cool. I also want to talk about harmony. So if you're a music teacher and you want to talk about those 1-3 intervals, 1-5 classic intervals, you could do that and hear that at the same time for these different equations. My favorite intervals are 1-7 and 1-9, so I got to get to that too. Uh, I want to add in different musical scales, the Aeolian, the pentatonic, Chinese and Japanese ones, uh, Middle Eastern ones, maybe a decatonic scale would be awesome so that we have 10 notes matching with our base 10 number system you'll notice that the tick marks match the scale that we're looking at. So the chromatic scale has tick marks at every 12. So you can kind of see like, uh, like this might be a C note. So this next one's gonna be another uh, C note, for example. And I also wanna have, of course, more information going with this app. So you aren't just like randomly pressing buttons. If you wanna read more, you can. And finally, I want to, give away or sell curricular materials so that if you are a school or you're homeschooling your kid or you're just really into math and music like me, you can pay a dollar and get a worksheet, you know, where it can walk you through, hey, what equations or functions should you try to make audible next? What is the effect of this constant term here? And what does that sound like? Or what is the effect of listening to C major versus C minor? on our linear scale. So many cool things you could explore. And I'm gonna have uh, maybe flashcards or guiding questions or definitions or anything that would be a teaching material. I wanna sell that for a dollar through Pios Labs and that'll help me support projects like these. Not only will I use these tools to teach my own students, I hope that other people can freely use this app uh, to teach their own students as well and just contribute something uh, if you want a little bit more. Thanks for looking at my preview and tune in next time uh, when you want to learn more about the new features to this app.